Paper or something, something I could use. And I had no paper towels. I had no coffee filters. But I did have a loaf of bread. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't like white bread, it was like this 12 grain, you know, double nut cluster blueberry, you know. It was, it was brown already, so it's like, it wasn't, I could tell it was working or not, I figured it did. But needless to say, the next day I went to the grocery store and I bought some paper towels, bought some toilet paper, I actually bought some coffee filters, and I bought some white bread, and I brought some Preparation H. Yeah. The bread hurts. Hey! <laughs> you know, I've been thinking about breasts a lot lately. I mean, not about breast themselves, but like breast reduction, like, well, not, for, not for myself, but, you know, like, just in general, the, 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 the about breast reduction. And, uh, it got me thinking, you know, well, it's a necessary operation, you know, because your back hurts, it's very uncomfortable, and, um, you can't, like, do push-ups. But, um, <laughs> but it got me thinking, it's got to be people who have, like, penis reduction surgery. There has to be. Someone some dick that's way too big, got lower back pains, can't ride a bicycle. You know, um, you can't wear normal slacks. And so, like, uh, you know, but it's kind of some people who are out there, they, they gotta be like, you know, it's not a problem. They just brag about, like, oh, my back hurts. You know why? Oh, I got this big cock. Hey! Woo! Comedy! Right. And, uh, you know, you gotta imagine that, that interview with the doctor, like, you know, I need pain reduction surgery. And the doctor's like, are you sure it's really necessary? We got this line of wheelbarrows. You know, like, uh, have you seen the Billy Mays commercial? You heard about the dick sling? Yo, hi, I'm Billy Mays. I'm gonna redo the dick sling. You're, you know, you should not call it the dick sling. You probably call it the dick clip. The dick clip, just look at right here. On the Comedy! Side. Comedy! <laughs> So do you know which mammal, which creature in the animal kingdom, had the biggest dick size in comparison to the main body of the animal? It's a duck. Ducks have the biggest penises out there. They do. Uh, you'll have a, like a one foot duck. You know, it has a dick. Oh, there's my nose. No Here we go. All right. It has a dick that's actually four feet long. I'm not joking. A one foot duck will have a four feet long duck. A uh, dick. A duck. Dick. They'll have a duck dick. One, a four foot long duck dick. And you may say to yourself, Charles, come on. I've seen ducks. They don't have the thing sticking out all the way there. But the thing to understand, that penis is curled up. And when it's ready to do it, it just unfurls. Like one of those New York party things, like, woo! You know, like, uh, the reason why the ducks have such a big dick is because female ducks have this huge cavernous vagina. You know, okay, I'm not even joking. That's true. Look at Wikipedia. Uh, what is that? Okay. The source of all things. It's, like, yeah. it's like one of those maps, like when you go to a tiny restaurant for the kids, like, Ladies, do you want Mickey Meatball finds way out of the maze. That's what the guys are like. The why? I think we're saying Okay, maybe asking, Charles, why do ducks have Dudes, these large parents' like vaginas? And do ducks have these big long dicks? All right. Because duck sex is almost never consensual. That's right, every day, ducks are being raped. Comedy. Yeah. Oh, all right, there, there you go. It's actually true. It's a terrible thing. 
but ducks are being raped every day. And um, it brings a whole new meaning to like, whole subtext to like, you know, where did Huey, Dewey, and Louie come from? You know, duck rape. Products of rape. Yo, know, duck rape. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> okay, okay. I learned how to play duck tail this morning. I forgot. Okay, let me go like. Okay, it's going nowhere. All right, <laughs> next thing. Okay, it's if a perfect. snake farts, does it lift his tail? You know, <laughs> nothing. All right, let's move on. Working with <laughs> All right, next comedy bit. You know, is it possible to get a truck or an SUV without getting the picture of Calvin peeing on something? I don't think it's actually possible. I mean, does it actually have a book waiting there when you get your truck saying, "Okay, thanks for buying our new Hummer." Have you seen our book of things with Calvin peeing on things? Would you like Calvin peeing on Osama bin Laden? Would you like Calvin peeing on Obama or Bush? You know, would you like Calvin peeing on birthday cake? You know, it's like, I think it would not let you get a truck unless you got Calvin peeing on something. I think it's actually the truth. But uh, what I would get if I had to get a truck and had to get Calvin peeing on something, I'd get a picture of Calvin peeing on Calvin. <laughs> You know, and, but not only that, but it'd be Calvin peeing on a picture of Calvin peeing on Calvin peeing on something. It's like this ad nauseum thing is going into the town. You know, Calvin's peeing on Calvin's peeing on Calvin's inflates the end of heaven. Comedy! 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 <laughs> <laughs>